Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a chart, a one tap counter with a chart so that you can easily, uh, work, so you can more easily work through this um, yoke chart for the white horse, um, for the white horse sweater. Um, first of all, to set up a chart, you need to go into setup. So we're on the knit screen up at the top center. You see you've got knit, edit, and setup. I'm going to select setup. It asks me if I'm sure. Yes, I am sure. Now on the right hand side, I'm going to tap on the plus sign to indicate that I want to add a chart piece. I tap on the plus and I select a chart piece. This is, I'm going to pull out a chart piece. It asks me what page it's on. It's on page three. I select that and I hit next. Now I've got a flashing blue arrow up at the left hand side of the screen that indicates that it's ready for me to um, put my finger down to drag the crop um, to, 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 um, to basically frame the yoke chart. So I'm going to put my finger down and I'm going to drag the edges here so that I can crop I, I can frame the the chart. Basically, the entire chart needs to be within the lines of the frame. It doesn't have to be exact, but you have to have it all within the frame. And here's where I made my mistake when I was trying to show you this in class. I don't hit, I, I was trying to click, I, I kept tapping on the crop section. That's not what you do. You've got to tap on the magic wand, the magic marker that's um, Right next on here where it says name, page eight, I'm going to, there I'm going to type uh, um, yoke chart, Y-O-K-E. I'm going to name this as a yoke chart and save it. And then right next to it um, is the magic marker. I'm tapping on that. And what that does is it selects the edges of the chart. And then at this point, see it's, it's counted the rows and stitches. It says there's 72 rows and 32 stitches. You want to double check to make sure that Knit Companion is really smart, but you need to make sure that it did everything right. So yes, there's 72 rows and 32 stitches in this chart. The first row is row one and you are going to count by one. Um, the reason why there's an option here is that when you're knitting flat lace, often the charts will only show the right side. Um, the the um, the right side rows and so then you would count by two but this is a chart that is knit in the round so every row is shown and so it's a count by one so um so this is so this chart is now set up and if i go to now if i go back to the knit screen i'm tapping on knit at the top center of my screen um, I go back and now I have the yoke chart. You see, you look at the pages up at the top and it did, it's added the yoke chart as a separate page. Now you notice that on the right hand side, there is a counter now. It's one and it says one and one. Uh, it's because it's on row one. If I tap that counter, it will advance to two and it also advances my row marker so that I've high, so that row two is highlighted. If I tap it again, it's going to advance my row marker and row three is going to be highlighted. Now I don't like the colors of this um, of, uh, of my row marker, so I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to make that easier to read. So I go into edit and I tap on the row and the row and stitch counter tool, which is the third one down on the left hand side. I'm going to tap on that. Then I am going to change the colors. So for the odd row and the even row, there's two, there are different colors for the odd row and the even row. Um, I'm going to make them more the same. I'm tapping on the colors and I'm going to select this color and this color. And um, I'm going to select invert because for a chart, this kind of a chart, it's much easier, for me at least, it's much easier to read the white um, section and have the rest of the section be darker. Um, so now if I go back to knit, um, now the marker looks like that. I'm going to slide my um, row marker over, uh, um, my stitch marker over to the left hand side. Um, now when I tap, um, when I tap the counter, it's set to three and if I tap it again, it's going to go to four and it, so it advances um, the, uh, it advances the, the highlighted row every time. 
Now, if I tap on the microphone here, I can turn voice activation on. If I if, remember, you have to have voice control turned on in your settings as well. Um, now it will respond to voice commands and it tells you what the um, voice commands are. Um, OK is supposed to close the pop up and that's what it just did. Now, when I say next, it moves um, the row marker up one row. If I say back, back, it will move the row marker back one row. So how cool is that? I can turn it off by tapping on um, the voice control. Now there's one more thing we can do here to 